Hi, in this video I will show how to use application for converting XML file to PowerShell. Especially not for just converting into XML files, but embedding files into PowerShell script. Uh, uh, you, I know that PowerShell can read uh, XML and process it in like objects oriented level. But uh, what I need, I need an um, XML file to be embedded into PowerShell because sometimes PowerShell doesn't have access to a file system. Therefore, I need uh, data from PowerShell as XML structure, yeah, as PowerShell structure inside. So let me show you, for example, I will be using this uh, state XML file. As you can see, it has a state record for every state with state name, state code, region, subregion. And I will be converting this file into PowerShell. Also, I can open it into XML viewer. Let me show you. This is XML viewer. It's showing um, XML as a table. I created it just for previewing what is inside of XML file. And you can see it has um, it has uh, uh, information about states, uh, state name, state code, region, subregion, and uh, all states from Alaska to Wyoming and here. And I will be converting this information, embedding this information into PowerShell structure, and we will use it for a script. Um, you know, I will do it with application downloads from my website. Um, this is my website. I will leave link on this website into description to find application I'll click on search um, and click XML to PowerShell and click on PowerShell page click on XML to PowerShell link here and click on the load button here to download application archive with application on my local computer I will be recording more scripts uh, more videos sorry on PowerShell and uh, XML format so if you're interested please consider subscribing to my channel Yep, we're waiting for uh, archive to be downloaded from Google Cloud. It's a relatively small archive. Yep. Uh, I will click on archive to open. Double click on MSI inside the archive and click on more info on the screen. I'm getting the screen from Windows because I'm not registered publisher with Microsoft. You can see publisher unknown. I'll just click run anyway to start installation. Click on next, next install. Click on yes and click finish on final screen. And you can see application has been installed to my computer. I have a new shortcut on my desktop here. So now let's close this and I can close this and this and double click on shortcut to launch application. Now converting is three steps process. In step one, I will have to select my XML file. I will click on this button, um, navigate to my states XML here, click on open. Click on next step. Here I can select which columns I want to be embedded into PowerShell structure. Uh, for example, I want all columns to be there. Click on next step. Click on preview. I can view um, PowerShell created or I can save this as PowerShell script. Let's go and save it. XML is asking me for name and location of the file. This name and location is okay. Just click save file has been saved and then let's go and open this file so I will double click on file no I need <laughs> I need right click open with uh, running PowerShell right yeah. no uh, wait a second I need to open with uh, just open So let's open PowerShell ID from I click on Windows PowerShell ID and then just drag file to this position. And you can see so here is a, a state structure created with all data in it. So if I want to, for example, access the structure, so I can, this is basically my script, right? If I'm writing script, this is all, all my uh, code on top and what I need to do. Uh, but I, let me show you how I can access data. I can type for each um, S in states, right? It's called states. States. I can uh, do write host. Get right host and then state and I can access for example state name right let's go and access state name so this will just uh, print um, 
all names from the structure. Okay, let's save it. And you can see it's printing all states um, here, state name. If I want to access, for example, region, I can copy this and click on access region, record subregion. Let's run again. Yeah. And you can see it's printing two rows now, one for state and second is for region. Uh, let me show it again. Alaska, Pacific, Arizona, Mountain, Arkansas, West, South, Central. So in this way, I can just type in dot and XML tag, I can access um, XML structure. So basically, this is just for embedding data into PowerShell. Now I can save this PowerShell and say, uh, like create script from that and send it to my admin to run on server. I don't need like uh, different PowerShell um, files to be packaged within or like run within or something like this. I just can't send. Or I can directly run on a server without like, even access to file system and have this. So yeah, basically that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them in comments below. Thank you.